Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Tranquil Waters by Stevie. We are continuing on our final days at Tranquil Waters. T.W. Gwen has shown up. She wanted to do some, uh, I promised her a, a run at the corn. So she has indeed taken reins, so to speak, of the combine harvester and is uh, taking care of business, or as they say, TCOP. One of our last fields to do on Tranquil Waters, in fact. We finished up our soybean harvest successfully. Uh, we got about 90,000 liters of soybeans out of this field, which I took directly over to our pig food silos so that it can continue to produce pig food for us. Gwen, where you going, hon? Gwen? Oh, Gwen. Where you going? Oh, were you going to unload? Oh, I think she was coming. <laughs> I think she was coming over to unload. And I moved the... <laughs> uh, and I moved the tractor on her. Yeah, she's not going to be happy about that. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Gwen. Hold on a second. I'm coming around. No, leave the pipe out. Leave the pipe out. It's okay. I'm just lining up a little bit better. Come on. There you go. All right. We, we've we connected. So, yeah. About 90,000 liters of uh, soybeans. Which, like I said, went over to our pig food producing silo. Which, ironically, as I've stated before, was one of the first things I wanted to accomplish on this map. However, it is indeed the last thing. Well, nearly the last thing we are accomplishing on this map. We have completed, we purchased all the land on Tranquil Waters. We managed to break the train. So we have not been able to use the Goldcrest Valley selling point since, oh, probably episode uh, 20, maybe around that time, I think. It was during one of the updates to the map that uh, our train disappeared and never came back. I think it derailed I think it derailed someplace over yonder in the northeast quadrant, and uh, that was all she wrote. Oh, there's our loan. I was looking at this loan system, just checking it out for uh, current loan interest rate, 3.5. Interesting. Does that fluctuate? I'm guessing it does. Otherwise, why show it, right? I wonder what the basis of that interest rate is. Is it based on the Dow Jones? <laughs> I don't know how interest rates work. I seem to remember something like, oh, this is based on the Dow Jones. I, I, I have no idea. I, I don't know. Take a loan out. The max we can take out right now is a very large number. Uh, 16 million. Is that right? Yeah, 16 million, 98,110 dollars. I'm going to assume that is based on, yeah, I, as you can tell, I, I have not read the mod author's description in any way, shape or form. I'm going to assume that's based on how much land you own. Like in game, I think is based on how much land you own. It'd be cool if it was also based on equipment value. I don't know if it takes that in, into consideration. In general, it would be cool if the game... Giants does need to work on the loan system. It, it's been a long time coming. And again, some basic things, and I don't mean to start the episode off with negativity. Obviously, I do because I'm going to be negative a little bit. But this loan system that's been in, the, in place here, this is another example of what I'm talking about with some basic 
things that Giants could do to to improve this game that that I is beyond me why they haven't been done yet. Why do I need to t- do why why is there this five thousand repay borrow crapola like? causing epileptic seizures across the board from all of its players having to hit the space bar, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 times. It's, it's just silly. It's just, it's silly. I tell you, it's silly. Oh, Gwen, were you coming to unload? Oh, I think she was. I'll stop. I'll stay here. Unless, uh-oh. I got you covered. I think I just need to stay in one place and she'd be good to go. So, yeah, it's it's just kind of those kind of things. Those small things. They could do a, like a 20... Farming Simulator 22 and a half. And just do all the little stuff that we've wanted forever. And it would be great. Just keep what you have. And just add those little bennies you know, searching capabilities that work. Um, being able to alphabetize or somehow shuffle these lengthy stinking lists. And they're, and they're not going to get any better because the more giants adds as far as crops and productions and things. Oh, another idea. Update the productions. Make them, you know, a little more fun. Like right now, let's face it, if maybe if you're new to the game, productions are okay. But if you've been using productions for a while, you realize they're just kind of, you know, you just drop stuff off and that's it. They get a little bit bland, a little vanilla. It's hard to imagine the game without productions though, isn't it? It's kind of weird that at one time or another, there were no productions. You just, you took your crops and sold them straight away. You didn't have a choice, you know. Wheat was wheat. You weren't going to make bread. You weren't going to make cakes, anything like that. You had wheat, you sold wheat. Now, granted, some of the products, of course, went into making other things I guess you could say that increased the value, like maybe, I don't know, uh, TMR and stuff like that. Maybe you, you could argue that that was one way of increasing the value of some of your crops. Grass, hay, you know, haylage, that kind of thing. But overall, it was a straightforward shot. It's kind of hard to, to think about it that way anymore because it's the game has come quite a ways with that. But <clears throat> we need to continue onward and upward. Production facilities are a big yawn. And I think that the enhanced production, is it mod or whatever it's called? Certainly has added some of that, but it's got its own. It's got its own issues. The one the one nice thing, and, and I know that with seasons, when the, when we had a seasons mod, you know, and then and then giants implemented seasons into the game, people weren't completely thrilled with the way Giants implemented it because it wasn't as robust as the mod was. But the one benefit, I guess, to having some of these things implemented into the game is you have that support from Giants that they should work and, and they should and they should work across the board, you know, should I still think I, I still think one of the biggest things would be would be GPS. I just I can't for the life of me I cannot understand why GPS is not in this game. Built in base layer. I I just I I just don't get it. Uh, it, it it has to have been toyed with. Giants has got has had to have been toying with it on the side. And maybe they just can't get it to work properly. 
or or some I, I don't know I, I for the life of me I cannot imagine why it has not been standardized in this game I'm I'm trying to think of any I'm trying to think like would it have something to do with the fact that GPS, the only thing I can think of, and this might be going out onto a bit of a limb. Uh-oh, I think Gwen's not going to like that tree. Yeah. So, hit the reverse, back up, and go around it. Oh, I know, that's, that's kooky talk, right? But, I, it's, it's kind of my bad, I didn't do a headland. So, kind of kind of my bad. Hold on a second. Whoops. Wrong key, Brad. There we go. Do we have a tree down yonder that's going to be a problem? Uh, not immediately. So going back to the GPS, this is this is a stretch. I think this is a stretch, but follow me on this. So with GPS systems, you can have the John Deere the John Deere GPS. Let's go to the nearest. Gwen probably took off on us. Yeah, Gwen's gone. She didn't like the way I commented about her driving skills with the tree she's very as we all know from past experiences she's very delicate so this is my guess you've got multiple different kind of gps systems out there right now i have a very high level understanding or is it a low level high level let's just say i don't i don't know a lot about farming gps and what's available but i do know that when it comes to licensing for the game, John Deere is not going to want somebody else's GPS running and running in their in their John Deere tractors and, and combines. That's not a good look for John Deere. And I'm sure Fent and the Agco products don't want John Deere's GPS running in their gizmos, right? I would think there would be an easy way around that. Because when you go into the store and you buy GPS and it's a John Deere com combine, it can only be a John Deere GPS and vice versa with Fenton, blah, blah, blah. But something just tells me there's got to be a reason and I'm, and I'm trying to figure out why Giants hasn't put GPS in the game. And I, it, it boggles my mind. It just, it boggles my mind. I, it seems like liter literally the most obvious thing missing. You've got precision farming. Hello? The first word. The first word. Precision. So you're going to tell me that all those precision farmers out there don't have GPS. They're just winging it. They're looking down the field at a bush. They're, line, they're lining up with a bush <laughs> down the field. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's their idea of precision farming. Come on. Come on. I know this cold weather brings the best out of me, doesn't it? But it's ridiculous. It is. It, it truly, it truly, truly is. And I, and you all know, I try to be understanding about these things because I readily admit the fact that I am not a game developer. I am not a programmer. Not, you know, I'm not, I'm not in that level of knowledge to where I can really be fair about some of these things. But, and this is with 1T, I will say, some, thank God somebody's paying attention to the harvest and they're unloading because I've completely lost the plot. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me. GPS has been in the game via a mod since 15 i think i used it back in 15 
Certainly 17, but I think I used it in 15. And maybe it went back further. I don't know. I didn't play a lot of uh, 13 on, on PC. I was a console player on 13 for the most part. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. And if I'm a console player, I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, come on. I'm ready to boycott. This doesn't make any sense to me. I watch uh, uh, occasionally a couple of YouTubers that are that are console players, and I get it. You can use AI, you can use the helpers, and so on. But I think GPS has just become such a norm for me, at least, and I know a lot of PC players. It's it's one of the first mods that comes out. It always comes out very early, and it's highly anticipated and highly downloaded. And I don't know, maybe, am I wrong about that? Do, do, do you guys not care that much about GPS? Do, do people generally not care? Because I, I can't believe that's true. And I can't believe that it can't be implemented into this game. And why it hasn't been I is beyond me. You've got precision farming. That's the big one that, that kind of hangs me up is how you can possibly have, you know, all this pride of implementing precision farming without without auto steer or GPS. It's 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 kookiness to me. Now I don't know if, you know, maybe Giants, like I said, maybe Giants hasn't done it for reasons outside of their control. That's that's one thing I guess I just have to that's that's the one thing I want to believe because then it would make some sense that it's just outside of their control they they can't do it for XYZ reasons outside of their control but if it's just missing the plot and I don't think it's a regional thing I don't think that GPS I I watch European farmers on YouTube. I watch enough to know that that they are equally vested in GPS. It's not it's not because, you know, cuz some things I understand if you're North American um, in particular, you know, where we look at things and wonder, well why isn't this in the game or this in the game? Well, it's kind of, it can be a regional thing. There's this is a this is a European based game. It just is what it is, and, and Giants has made a lot of strides to give North American players, I think, some attention with some of the equipment. And it's always nice with the base game equipment, in particular, when there is a European version, and I guess they usually call it a U.S. version, but basically a European version and a North American version. Because they, they, I know they've got a large audience outside of Europe. I mean, obviously, there's a there's a, a ton of Canadian and, and American players. But I just, I'm trying to figure out what in the world is going on with some of these things. And maybe it's the same frustrations as, you know... Um, there's other games I think out there where sometimes I read about these things like where players will be like, well, why hasn't this been added to this game? Or why hasn't this been added to this game? And maybe I'm just like, I, I don't know what the big deal is, but I don't play those games. Oh, boy. Just can't quite go straight, can you? I... I really think, you know, and maybe that's what makes it difficult is, is how invested some of us are in this game and how much we love the game. So we clearly, I wonder if I bump this field speed down. I don't even know what the default of this is anymore, but I wonder if that's what's freaking it out is. Let's just, we'll bump it down to something stupid. I don't even know what it is by default anymore. 5 to 50, does it does it actually have 5? Because that, that would be kind of 
weak sauce. Um, but you know, if you, if you didn't care, you didn't care. Look at oh, it's still just it's just it's it doesn't know. Yeah, I think some of these things we're not gonna see get better without significant infrastructure changes to the game. And by that is, you know, the, the engine is the actual Giants game engine that this that this game is based on. I don't think we're going to see things, some things improve until some of those things improve. Because you can only do what the engine allows, right? So things like um, all the complaints that we have oftentimes about the hired helpers. I mean, that, I mean, Giants knows that. Shoot, even their, even their uh, fanboys on YouTube that spend 80% of the time sucking up to Giants occasionally complain about hired helpers. They complain carefully, you know. They sandwich it in between compliments. <laughs> DJ go home. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, had to cough. But yeah, they they sandwich they sandwich their complaints in between compliments as to not you know hurt the gods' feelings. Like I can't believe how great this game is. Hired helpers are kind of sucky, but the game is amazing. See how I see how I did that? I sandwiched it. <laughs> So yeah, even the even the suck up YouTubers um, that you know don't want to lose their relationships or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, it's it's interesting to me, and it's it's it is what it is. I'm gonna continue to play the game. I mean, you can people can say you know well then don't play. Well yeah, duh. Of course that's always an option is don't play. Don't give them money and don't play. But my hope is that by supporting Giants financially, by buying DLCs, by buying season passes, by buying the game, and by contributing through the forums or through, you know, tickets to them, if there's support tickets, if there's a problem, all these things, all that comes together to hopefully make the game better. And that's what we all want. We want the game better. And if you just simply say, well, then don't play. Okay, so you just saw all you want. So the only people you want playing the game are the sheeple that just say, yes, Giants, you are fantastic. The game is perfect the way it is. Yeah, I don't think so. And thank God for modders, right? Amazing to me how, how different this game would be without modders. I think Giants... Boy, I, I don't know. I'd feel... I would really honestly feel bad for them. If... I, I don't know that the game would last. I think it would last. I think it would continue. But, wow. What a difference this game would be without modders. And that's not, this isn't the only game that, you know, that's like that. But this game is one of the few games that I know of that would be significantly impacted. That is significantly impacted by the modding community. In fact, it's it's impacted enough to where Giants implements things into the game because of the modding community. You know? So that's pretty amazing. But... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's still no news, as far as I know, about, uh, about the next version. And there's still no news about a season pass. For 24 so I don't know if I'm assuming there's not going there's not going to be a season pass for 24 I would think Giants would already have plugged that if there was going to be one
so what does that mean then? I, I'm guessing there's going to be a new version of Farming Simulator that's going to come out this year. I mean, we haven't even heard... Have we heard even peep about... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, got it? Yeah? Okay. I don't even think we've heard... I mean, we haven't heard peep about any updating or anything going on, I don't think. I mean, we're getting some mods um, into the mod hub again. And the list is still pretty long. The last time I looked at the uh, the mod list, it was about 180, 190 awaiting mods. So there's still a, a lot of mods. Sitting and awaiting its uh, arrival. So I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting year then, I think. I don't know. I, I, I think if, if they release it this year, it'll be, I don't know, kind of, it seems like kind of a surprise, but, hmm. How are we doing on harvest here? We're about 90,000 liters. And are we sitting, doo -doo -doo, let's just take a quick peek here. Probably not quite halfway there. Little ways to go. I think Gwen's just gonna... I think Gwen left that little strip right there. I guess... Uh, I guess we're not gonna worry about that. I don't know if Course Play has a... An idea to come back and get this strip. Or if it's just like, eh. Skip it. But yes, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I am going to take my whining uh, home with me. And uh, you guys don't need to listen to that anymore. But every once in a while, I get a little hair there. And it's just like, you know, what's going on, man? What is what is going on? But we are getting close to wrapping this up. This is going to be the last week, I think, for Tranquil Waters. Um, I don't see how we need to extend it any further than this. I think this is episode uh, 97. So we'll be right there at 99, 100. Um, yeah, a lot of hours into this into this map. And I think we've... it. Uh, you know, as, as it happens a lot of times, things turn out a little bit differently than then you go into it and you're like, I'm going to focus on this, this, and things kind of shift and you end up just farming, farming. But um, we kept our cows alive and fed and happy. We made some decent money on that um, homogenized milk, that's for sure. And own all the land and I think we're going to be good to go. So most importantly, you guys take care of yourselves. Thanks for joining me again. Thanks for putting up with me. I appreciate it. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Certainly appreciate you very, very much. Amazing people continue to subscribe. That's fantastic. Love to see you. But you all take care of yourselves. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I would certainly appreciate that, as always. And um, we'll be back tomorrow. We've got carrots in our future. Lots of carrots. All right. Take care, you guys. Bye for now.